Hey guys, Richard here. So if you want to learn how to be an affiliate marketer on JVZoo, stick around. This video is going to be really, really good for you, right? I'm going to actually show you the site itself. I'm going to take you through how you can go ahead and find products to promote and also where you can actually get the information about those products that allow you to create reviews as an affiliate. Now this is very, very easy to do once you get a process in place. And what I want to do on this video is give you a high level view of what that process should look like so you can get started today. So I'm going to give you a JVZoo overview. We'll go through the promotional process you should be using when you're picking any kind of goods and services to promote online. I'll talk to you about a couple of recommended tools that I have that you really need to have before you get started doing this. I'll show you through my own marketing funnel and the way that I go about actually promoting goods and services online. And then I'm going to give you a live example of a recent promotion I did and show you exactly how I put that together. So guys, just before we start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you're interested in starting a business online and you want to find some really, really good free information, go ahead and check out my link in the description below over to the School of Nomads. There's a really, really nice action plan there that you can get started with straight away. And guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe notification bell so I can let you know whenever I produce videos just like this one. Okay guys, so jumped over to the JVZoo site. Now, JVZoo is basically a marketplace that sells digital products and services online. And it's very, very similar to marketplaces like Warrior Plus here or ClickBank, where they have lots and lots of different variety of products within them with various niches as well. Now, the main thing about JVZoo, which is a little bit different, is that JVZoo tends to do a lot of type software type products. And these tend to be kind of video related type products. Anything that's a software will kind of gravitate towards JVZoo. So we're actually going to go inside JVZoo. Now there's two main parts to this. One is a place where vendors can actually put products and services to sell. And the other one, which is the piece that we're going to look at is the affiliate side where you can go in, look at products, get approved to actually promote those products and then earn a commission if you go ahead and promote those products. Now the commissions, when you're talking about digital products and services are always pretty good, right? They're always 50% or more, at least on the front end. Now that beats a lot of the other things like Amazon, which has got very, very low percentages when you're actually a seller. So it's quite hard to make a lot of money unless you're selling a lot of those particular goods. Now, which is why I like the digital space because it allows you to sell really good software to people that also gives you high commissions, right? So let's jump inside JVZoo. Now, if you've never been over to it before, just go ahead and build your account with JVZoo. Not really that difficult. Just make sure they've got all the right payment information in they need because you're an affiliate. You want to be paid from these folks. So make sure all the information you give them is correct. I'm just going to go ahead and log in and then we'll jump straight into the marketplace. Okay, guys, so I jumped straight into the marketplace. Now, again, if you're completely new to JVZoo, this top menu is pretty explanatory, but there's an overview there which gives you your stats if you're actually actively promoting on the site. You have some information here under the Affiliates tab, your dashboard, some quick stats, your approved products, and I'm going to show you how to get approved for these products. Uh, find products, which is what I'm on now. Um, affiliate bonuses and transactions. You have some information under the Sellers tab, which is really if you're a seller on JVZoo, so we're not really gonna bother with that at the moment. Marketplace for the overall products and launch list, which tells people when things are actually gonna be launched. And lastly, we have some recommended tools that some of these are good, like GetResponse, others you don't really need when you're starting off, but it's a good place to go ahead and have a look on the types of things that they're recommending. So here's all the different products on JVZoo, and there is absolutely thousands. So it can be a little bit daunting when you start, but don't worry about that. We've got various ways that we can kind of reduce the amount of products that we're looking at. Now, you can go by category here, lots of different categories on here, depending on your niche. So again, one benefit of JVZoo is that they do have products in various niches. So you don't have to be on the make money online niche that I'm in. You could be in all sorts of parenting and family type niches, and there's gonna be a product on here that you can go ahead and promote. Now, let's just stick with this one. I'm gonna show you some of these overall products. So over on the left-hand side, you have the link to the actual product itself. Then you come across here, you have the launch date. So this is quite an old one. How many units have actually been sold? 
So the units are 38,000, but the whole fund is 116. The conversion rate on here, which tells you how popular a product is, and obviously the higher the conversion rate, the better for you. If So if you get people to come along and click on that product, you've got more chance that they're gonna buy it. Uh, what the earnings per click are. So this is very important, especially if you're doing paid traffic. Uh, you want a high earnings per click. So for instance, this one is only $1.38 and this one is say $13 down here if they, if they went ahead and took the whole funnel. So you can go ahead and have a look at and see if it's worth your while actually promoting. Then you have the average price. So the average price on here is $50 and then your commission rate. So you're an affiliate. So one of the things you're gonna think about is your commission rate. So, so firstly you think about is the product or service any good? And you wanna promote good products and services to people. The second thing is is the commission rate worth your while to start making reviews or other types of content to promote this, right? So the last thing is the refund rate. You wanna make sure that the refund rate isn't too high. And again, this is kind of a, a good indication that maybe a product is not so good and the refund rate may reflect that, right? So again, just an indication, lots and lots of different uh, kind of variables here, and you'll get a sense of it once you start getting into this, what's good and what's bad. So we'll just come along here and have a look at Video X and Maker, whatever this is. And this is where you would actually come and request the link for this particular product. So I can come along here and I can look at the sales page here. So if I hit view sales page, it's gonna open up onto the sales page. And from the sales page, I wanna know how spammy is this sales page? That's the kind of thing that I look at. Is it promising in 30 seconds to make somebody $1,000 a day? If it is, I'll steer well clear. If it's something like this, and just tell you the basic functionality of the software then i'm more inclined to kind of start researching more about this particular product so you have a look at this this gives you an overall view and then you can come back and actually start looking at some of the other information so so if you scroll down just slightly usually you'll have a jv page here now this is the page that you can use as an affiliate to get more of an idea of what this product's all about and most products will have a jv page which is a joint venture page that the vendors will include for affiliates. Now this is usually a video, which is this, this one's gonna be, that explains a little bit about what the product is. And there could be other resources on here and other valuable information that you can use in your promotions. Now, when I promote a product, I usually do a review. And I'm gonna show you an example of one of them. Now, if you do a product with a review, then you need information like what the front end product's costing, what are the various OTOs, all those types of information on what your users are looking to get from the product, right? So this is where you would actually get that information. So again, lots and lots of things here. There's obviously a demo here. There's a pro themes pack. You can have some samples here that you can use. Lots of different information here that you can actually use in your promotions. Again, for this types of product, these are really, really useful to go through the JV page and get as much information as possible. Now I am gonna show you a quick trick here that many, many affiliates use to get a little bit more information about products and also to find out what the most recent products are that are being released. If you come over to a site called Munchai, Munchai is a collection of all of the various releases in the kind of make money online space mainly. And it tends to be a mixture of software, training courses, and you can come through here and look at these various launches and get more information about the launches. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you something that's being launched on JVZoo, which is this here. So this JVZoo symbol tells you that this is being launched on JVZoo, this one on Warrior Plus, and there'll be a ClickBank one here. So this is something by Cindy Donovan. I don't know how good this is, I haven't really looked into it yet and it's called Funnelio. Now, all of these have got a JV page on them. So what you can do is come over to the JV page, and then at the top here, you'll usually have a sales page preview, your affiliate link, which will take you back to JVZoo. I'll show you that in a second. A video demo of the product, a sales funnel, which tells you all of the OTOs. Cool, because this has got a JV doc, and I'm gonna show you how useful that is. And then there's some prizes and promo tools that you can actually use to promote this. Now, if you go to the JV doc, there is a way that a lot of these vendors will actually give you review access. Now, it all depends on the vendor and it all depends on how big the launch is. A lot of really, really big launches don't give you review access. 
as you get more experience and you do a lot of reviews, you can actually request review access from the vendors. So if I come down here, you'll see that they've given us review access to this particular product. So if I just go ahead and I can access this product and show you inside this product, right? And this is what I can use on my reviews. So what I've done is I've actually gone through and logged into the product. Now I can use this now, this review access, to actually give a lot of detail about the product itself. And I would create my review based on this information. So if I go to the training tutorials first, I can actually go through the training so that I've got a really, really good idea of what this product's all about. Now, I can then go through the various components. I can actually build one of these campaigns, these funnel campaigns, looks like a lot to do with Amazon for me. And then I can show people exactly what this product's all about in my reviews. Now, if you use the products on Munchai, they're the most current releases. Now, if you do reviews, whether you have a blog or you have some kind of YouTube channel, they're likely to get lots and lots of traffic because it's a current release. And what people do is they get emails into their inboxes that say, hey, we're releasing Funnelio today. Go check it out. And the first thing people do is they'll start typing in Funnelio review. And this is where you come in as an affiliate. If you create a value-based review that's giving people really good information, not just giving them loads of bonuses and BSing about rubbish products. If you're an honest marketer and you can pick products that are gonna bring value to people, then you can make money by using the review process to actually market these products. And it's a really, really easy thing to do once you get going. If you look at my own channel, I do lots of different types of reviews. I don't always do positive reviews because some products don't deserve positive reviews. But I do make sure when I do find something that's very valuable that I actually do a really good thorough review of it so that people get all the information they need, right? So the idea is that you would come through here, check this all out, and then you can go ahead and do a review on this. So let's jump back to JVZoo and I'm gonna show you a few more things on JVZoo you need to be aware of. Okay, so just jump back over to JVZoo. Now this is a Funnelio Unlimited. This is a product that we were actually just looking at and this is where you would go ahead and request permission to promote. Now it can be slightly tricky when you're a beginner because you've got no real history on JVZoo and they don't really understand whether you are gonna be good at promoting these types of products or services and at the end of the day, it's all about making sure that they get quality traffic over to their offers so that they can actually sell them. Now, what you can do here is you can actually explain a little bit more about who you are and how you're gonna promote. So when I tell you later in this video what the promotion process is that I use, you can kind of repeat some of that and explain to people very thoroughly how you're gonna go ahead and promote. You're gonna build a review, you're gonna have a blog, you're gonna have a YouTube channel, whatever it may be, and then you can get access to some of these products to be able to promote. Now, at first, if you're a complete beginner, don't be worried if some people refuse you. The idea is just to get started, start doing some reviews, even without affiliate access sometimes, just to get established. So if you were to go ahead and do a review on this product without actually having a link so that you can get paid a commission and it gets traffic, you can use that next time you go ahead and request any kind of access with JVZoo to say, hey, this is my channel. I'm getting traffic over to my reviews. And then over time, the vendors will start approving you for all of these different offers. So don't be disheartened if at first, you don't get any access to affiliate links. Think about it more long term and think about how can you build a blog, a YouTube channel, whatever it may be, so that you can end up actually getting approved every single time and you can actually start making money from these products. It won't happen within the first couple of reviews that you do. You need to build up a business very, very slowly, right? So just keep that in mind, but this is where you go ahead and request commission. You can come in here, put some information about who you are, press this, and you can go ahead and request to approve this. And then once you do, what you'll have is a link. So if I just go back to my own approved products, this is a list of products that I actually have that I'm approved for to actually promote. So let's just try one of these. Now this commission gorilla, if I just got the links for this, and if I copied this, this link would be my affiliate link. And if somebody comes through this link, I would actually give, be given a commission if to go ahead and purchase this particular offer. Now this is a product that actually allows people to build bonuses. I know what this product is, it's pretty good. So if somebody comes along and hits this button, then purchase the product, 
you'll be getting commission for them actually coming through your link. Now I probably change the links that they give you because if you go back, some of the links are pretty ugly. I'd use something like pretty links to actually change them to make them look nicer. And then I'll show you exactly where I would put these links when I was doing my promotion. So that's where you would get your links once you've come along through here, looked at your actual products that you want to promote and actually started applying to get your links. So let me just show you the overall process here when you're thinking about how to promote these types of products. So here's kind of the process that I use, right? And this is really, really simple once you start getting this up and running and you've got your kind of foundation in place, right? You need to do choose a niche and a product from JVZoo. So you don't have to be in the Make Money Online niche. You can be in multiple different niches. Go and pick a niche that you're interested in providing valuable content and reviews for in that niche. You go ahead and then pick a product. You can go and have a look at that product and figure out whether that's a good product for you to review. I've shown you Munchai. It's a good way that you can actually get access to certain products sometimes. And quick little tip here, if you're can't see that product currently on Munchai, then if you just search on Google and type Munchai followed by the product name, a lot of the times people will leave review access on that product, right? So or, always a way that you can actually go ahead and get more access to it, or you can actually go and buy it, guys, because if you're promoting these products, you need to be interested in what you're promoting, right? So you can just go and buy a copy of that product so that you can use it yourself. Now, the next thing you do is you go ahead and review the affiliate material. I showed you where to get that. You go ahead on Munchai, you go and grab that affiliate material. Then you can go ahead and get your links. I went through that, very, very simple in JVZoo. But again, make sure that you're putting some detail down before you apply for those links. Then you create your review and bonus pages. Now you may have a video you wanna do as far as the review is concerned, or you may have some bonus pages. I will actually leave a couple of videos underneath this one that show you how I go ahead and create some of my reviews and bonus pages. And lastly, you need to drive traffic. Now this will be in the form of creating some kind of blog. You can create a YouTube channel and drive traffic in that way. But once you start those channels up or those blogs up, you need to put lots and lots of different content in there to start driving lots of traffic towards your links, right? And it's not gonna happen overnight, guys. So if you wanna do this completely for free, it's gonna take time to build up, but you've gotta start somewhere. So this is the way that you actually can do this and start building a real business. So here's my recommended tools. Now you can do this completely for free. Now you can use something like Medium, which is a free platform to build your reviews in. Now, when you look for a lot of products online and just put whatever product it is review, you will see a lot of Medium links come up. And Medium is a website that allows you to build kind of a free blog. And it's very, very good to start completely for free. You can also use YouTube. Now the YouTube channels are also completely for free, apart from maybe some editing software that you need to obviously make those videos. So there is free resources there, but overall, over time, these are the types of tools that I recommend for you. You'll need a domain, you'll need a website, you need some form of page builder. I use something called Thrive Architect. You'll need some graphics, um, you need keyword tools, you need an autoresponder, and you'll need some kind of video creation software. Now, with all of these tools encompassed, I probably pay about 100 bucks a month, and I don't know what other business you can start online with just paying 100 bucks a month. But remember, to start off with, there is a free alternatives out there that you can go ahead and use. So here's my overall funnel. Now, this is the example that I'm gonna give you which is a live example at the moment of a product promotion that I'm currently running, right? Now the funnel is what basically the customer goes through as they're going through and purchasing a product. So you have your various traffic sources here. On the left-hand side here, you have things like YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, email list, you could have a blog. All of these are slightly different and there's a slightly different approach to each one. So obviously on YouTube, you're making videos, right? And you're making videos that are value-based, that could be review videos that people are clicking on the links in those descriptions of the video over to certain pages. On Facebook, you could be having a page of your own, it could be on your own Facebook profile, or you could actually have a group on Facebook and you could be advertising stuff through that group. Pinterest is the same, could be a pin, your own Pinterest account, various groups on Pinterest are also interested in offers and you obviously use pins to advertise with them. Your email list might be slightly longer term, but obviously you can advertise your own email list once you start building that up. 
and then you could have a blog. Now, blogs are a lot of work. Lots of content needs to be going to blogs to start getting them established. But if you're going through this kind of review process that I'm talking about, you can get traffic very quickly because reviews are very, very popular and they get a lot of traffic quickly once products actually launch, right? So blogs are a really good idea when you're using this type of review tactic. Now, what you would do is you would go over and make a video on YouTube. You, they would come over to your review page. Now, if it's a short-term product, it's only just been released, I would just have that as a review. If it's slightly longer term, I would ask people to opt in to go to the next stage and actually go ahead and view the product. The reason I do that is that I can communicate with them on a long-term basis once they've opted in. But you can go ahead and create your review. If they go through that review, click on the button, they'll come over to your affiliate link. Then that affiliate link takes them to the JVZoo product and then they can go ahead and purchase. Now, it may seem very kind of simple the way this is set up, but I would always advise you at least go through a review page first and a landing page first so that you can kind of get more information to people before they go ahead and go to the product. Now, if you can capture their details, more the better. Now, what I actually do is on an actual launch, which is a brand new product, I'll offer a few bonuses, right? Now, a lot of people offer bonuses for these launches. And what I do is to get the actual bonus, I ask people to opt in. Now, and again, that allows me to get their details and it allows me to communicate with them on an ongoing basis, which is good for you. So once they've opted in, they can come over to the bonus page and then they can go ahead and collect their bonuses. And I'm actually gonna show you how this works. Now, if you created some kind of content on YouTube, for instance, and all you did is put a link straight over to the JVZoo product, the issue there is once they go and see this, they may be on a bus, they may be with their kids. If they don't purchase straight away, you've kind of lost them straight away and you may not get the credit for that purchase, right? They, if they go to a different device, the cookie that you would have left on their device that they used initially won't really work. So to get some kind of details off them, whether it's an opt-in or whether you ask them to opt-in to get a bonus, it's critical when you're trying to build any kind of list online, right? So I want you to think about that. If you're a beginner over the long term, I want you to think about how you actually build that list so that you can create value for people, help people, and then promote to people on an ongoing basis. It's really, really critical, guys. And it's something that a lot of people that are just starting off kind of forget and they're just chasing the money rather than chasing the leads that they can use in the longer term. So guys, I jumped over to my YouTube channel. Now this is the, an example of a product called QuickList. Now QuickList is on JVZoo currently. And this is an example of me using exactly this tactic. Now I actually promoted this kind of a few weeks ago. It was going through a second version. Now I did get some good commissions out of this review, um, but it was more about kind of providing some really, really good value to my audience because this is a good product, right? So what I did is I went through the products in a lot of detail. I took them through exactly how to use it, how to create these various types of lists because these are kind of checklists online. And then I asked them to come along and click this link in the description below. So once they clicked this, they came over to my bonus page where I had a video which actually explains again how this is used. Then if they come along and click here, what this actually explains to them is the various bonuses they can get for getting it through my link. They come and click here and then this will take them over to the product. So this is the product itself. Again, they can go through here. Now, if they click on these links, I will then get credited for the sale. So when they actually get the sale, what will happen is they'll get this purchase email. Now this purchase email will have a link to my bonuses that I've already added in JVZoo. Now this link to my bonuses will be emailed to them. And if they click on that, they'll go to my bonus opt-in page where they can go ahead and pick up the bonus. And I'm gonna show you what the bonus page actually looks like. And this is the actual bonus page for that particular product. So this is what they would actually opt into. Here's the bonus here. This is actually a 30 minute video that takes you through exactly how to transform an existing checklist using this particular software. Various ways they connect with me and then some more products on the bottom that I'm recommending that I know are really, really good, right? So this is always really, really critical, guys. When you're setting up any kind of promotion, once you have these pages in place, you can actually repeat this again and again and again relatively quickly because all you need to do is swap out a few graphics, obviously swap out the type of bonuses you're gonna to give to people and then you can reuse these pages over and over. And it's much more robust way to promote 
than just trying to send people directly to a link and then they'll completely forget about it or they'll be too busy to actually purchase at the time and then you've lost that particular person for good. So guys, thanks for watching. I will be doing more videos on JVZoo in a little bit more detail around some of the topics I discussed today. So look out for them. Hit the subscribe and notification bell if this is something that interests you. And guys, if you're looking to build a long-term sustainable business online, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads. I've got a completely free step-by-step -step blueprint there that you can go ahead and use today. Until next time, guys, take care.